Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Relitza and this is Readings with Rally. Thank you for being here. In today's reading, we're gonna take a look at um, what's going on here with your crush. Do they like you back? Um, this was specifically recommended by Laza E. Moe. Um, so I hope you're watching this because I did decide to do this for you. I realized I hadn't done a video like this in a while. Um, this will be, you know, respectfully the truth. So please do not watch if you're feeling extra sensitive. I know sometimes um, we like to hurt our own feelings, but this is going to bring up like, what's going on with your crush? Do they like you? What are some things you need to be aware of, etc. So yeah, is there anything else I have to say? I don't think so. We do have three pals to choose from today. Pal number one, we have the snowflake obsidian. Pile number two, we have the bloodstone. And pile number three, we have the strawberry quartz. If you did need some more time, you can always go ahead and pause the video here. I'm gonna go ahead and start with pile number one. Hello, pile one, how are you? If you chose this snowflake obsidian and this is your reading, welcome. I hope you're doing well and you're having a fantastic day. I'm just gonna go ahead here um, and tap into the energy here of this person. Spirit, can you please help me connect to pile one's crush and pile one? Please help me to keep pile one safe, protected, and guided throughout this day and throughout all of the days of their life. As always, we wanted to say a big thank you to you for your support, for your kindness, and for your accuracy. Please keep pile one safe, protected, and guided. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I feel like this person has had some sort of ego issues or something. They're, um, their solar plexus chakra is completely shot. Of course, this can be yours as well, but I'm more picking it up for this person. They could have gone through some kind of a fall from grace or they're just not feeling very confident about themselves right now. Which is funny because I feel like sometimes this person can maybe brag. I do feel like they are aware of you. This person seems to be aware of who you are, but they really like to control their emotions. Um, I'm also seeing the Page of Pentacles. So this person may be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What's going on here with Pile One's crush? Do they like Pile One back? What do we need to know? We have the Hermit, Virgo energy. The Two of Cups, okay. The devil, Capricorn energy. I knew I was picking up earth sign energy. Three of wands. And the four of pentacles. All right. Interesting. This person, first of all, I do think they like you. I'm just going to start off by saying that. This person and you... They're, they're aware of the connection with you. They know. But it's funny, we have the Hermit and the Devil surrounding the Two of Cups. So I almost feel like this person, they don't want to acknowledge the connection with you because they have too many other things that they're sorting through. I feel like this person is going through something. And I was kind of picking that up even from their energy, especially with the Hermit card being first. It's like they're trying to figure out something. They are looking at things in a different direction. They're going within for some of you, this person may struggle with addiction issues or they could be a bit of a workaholic. I do, however, think that they like you, but I don't think they're going to take action yet. You might have to wait a few months for this person. They're on like some sort of major healing journey and they are feeling a little bit like that has to be their priority. Honestly, I respect that person. I respect it. I respect this person's flow. I think as well, this person may have had like a pretty serious connection in the past that ended. There's some sort of baggage that they're holding on to, but they do acknowledge the connection. They just, it's like they can't seem to move the connection forward right now, even though they acknowledge the value of it. They know that it's here. Pile one's person, please. What's going on with pile one's crush? This person may be going through some sort of like spiritual revelation. 
We have rumor. People who do not know you are gossiping and spreading lies about you. Guilty before proven innocent. They're listening to words of their toxic family, friends, or both. There could be um, rumors here as well from both sides. Like you could be hearing stuff about this person. This person may have heard something about you. I feel like they need to stop listening to the people around them, but this could be making them feel like they have to be a bit internal. You may also hear a lot of rumors about this person, but they may not be true. So Spirit's just wanting me to say that. Um, so please be mindful to not like always listen to what other people are saying. Um, I do feel like this person may have quite like a toxic friend group or family. What else do we need to know please about this person? Pile number one's crush. We have uncertainty. You have no labels established. You have nothing concrete to work off of to determine the direction of the connection. Things are up in the air. I think that this is also this person being pretty um, uncertain in their, in, their, in their own understanding of what they want to do here. This person has a lot of things going on um, right now that are making them feel confused as to if they can actually give to a connection. Sometimes they feel a little bit concerned that they're not going to be able to spend enough time or even have the ability to support a connection. This person may have a lot of things that are up in the air as well, which is why they can't really commit to the crush plus the gossip. What else here? You have mystery. They're hiding something from you. They are not being upfront about their true character and intentions. They're choosing to remain closed off from you. I feel for some of you, this person's actually hiding the fact that they like you a lot. There's like something about this person feeling uncomfortable with sharing their feelings and their emotions that is really coming through here. This person seems to be feeling a little bit confused in terms of what they're what they're wanting and what they kind of expect going forward. They need some time. However, I do think that they feel for you. Um, they acknowledge that this connection is special, but they can be pretty stubborn. What do we need to know, please, about pile number one's crush? Do they like them back? Tell us what we need to know. We have friendship. This could be somebody that you have um, as a friend right now. Your person thought they could survive by being only friends with you. They are now understanding of the error of their ways and they're starting to develop romantic feelings for you. Yeah, this person does have um, a crush on you, especially for those of you who have like a friend group with this person. I think that they are really thinking about you in a very strongly romantic way. But again, because we have so many external influences here. I feel like this person may listen to other people instead of you, or they might not be sharing the fullness of what they're thinking. What else is going on here with pile number one's crush? We have happy. You will have a happy ending or beginning with this person. Things will go better than you thought. You will have a happy resolution with or without your person. They would prefer to be with you. I think that this connection can develop here over the next few months. Um, it will be slow. Look, bottom of the deck, I just decided to check. We have the tower. So you've really surprised this person. They do have feelings for you. This person needs some time to figure this out um, because they're not feeling courageous enough to take that leap of faith towards you. I feel like this person, they have some bad habits. They have things that they need to work on. But if this is somebody that you truly do like, I would say, you know, give it some time. Tell me more, please. Pile one and their crush. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? This person's getting all kinds of intuitive messages about you, by the way. We have grief, which is interesting because Snowflake Obsidian specifically is a grief stone. That's why it was gifted to me. Um, tears are what happens when the ice in the heart melts. This person may be going through something here. They don't want to talk about it, um, but there's some sort of like closed off energy around their, around their heart that is important for us to be aware of because when somebody has a closed off energy around their heart chakra, sometimes it can lead to 
blockages, right? Especially in terms of expressing what's going on here. So while I do think this person likes you, they have something that they need to figure out. What else do we need to know, please, regarding this person? We have firecracker with excitement and we have hills with obstacles to overcome. This person's working through some things. You do make them very excited. They are very attracted to you. Um, so if this is a connection you would like to invest in, I would give this time, honestly. Um, because I do think this person has positive intentions towards you, but they just need some space to clear whatever this is out. And again, one or both of you could be earth signs. I'm getting very heavy earthy energy. This person may need to ground their energy down. So that's what I have for you guys, pile one. What an interesting reading. Um, I hope that it resonated. As always, I wanted to say thank you guys for being here. If you did like this um, reading, make sure to like, subscribe, comment. It helps me to know who is watching um, this reading so I can better tap into the energy of the collective who's actually here long term. Um, and also, some of my friends watch my channel and they say, you never tell people to like subscribe. And they're totally right. I don't know why. I just don't say it. Um, so have a great day. We're, we will talk later. Hi, pal too. How are you? If you chose the bloodstone, then this is your reading. Welcome. I hope you're doing well and you're having a fantastic day. Just going to go ahead here and dive right into your energy. So Spirit, can you please help me to connect to the collective energy who chose pile number two and their crush? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for pile two so that they can have the best possible reading. Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you for everything you continue to do. Please keep pile two safe, protected, and guided throughout this day and throughout all of the days of their life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so one of the things that's coming through here is, I, first of all, I was getting very strong B names. Um, I was hearing Bailey, Blake, Brooke, Bentley. Someone here could drive a Bentley. Bradley, Brandon, Braden, Bryn, Brooklyn. Someone could live in Brooklyn, obviously. Blaine, Brianna, Bella. This person thinks you're very attractive. I will get into that. Blakely, Bryce. Blair. Um, I was also getting a lot of restlessness around this person for some reason. They feel very like their energy was very shaky right away. Um, so I feel like this person has a little bit of a difficult time balancing. They are, they are interested in you. There was a lot of um, sexual energy that came through, which is how I, I know that this person is interested in you. So that's always important to note. Okay. Pile number two, please. Is their crush interested in them? What do we need to know about this person? We have the moon, the magician. Is this person interested in them? What do we need to know? King of Swords. Is this person interested in them? We have the Five of Cups. And we have the Two of Swords. Some of you may have like a little bit of a background with this person anyways. I feel like there could have already been maybe an attempt for some of you to date this person. So what's going on here? Um, for signs, I'm seeing Cancer. I'm seeing Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. One of you could have significant water placements and the other person can um, have significant fire placements. I'm also hearing the phrase... Uh, <laughs> it's like water and oil. So there could be like a bit, very big difference in the way that the two of you are seeing things. There's just like some sort of a marked difference here. What's going on here? I do think this person has strong sexual feelings for you. I will say that. I also feel they, they tend to overthink this connection with you. This person may feel like you guys are difficult to get to. I have to be honest, that is something that's coming through. I don't know if this person feels like you've put yourself on a pedestal or you're better than them, but there is like this energy of this person feeling a little bit like you're too good to be true. Um, you're too steady. You're too fantastic. You're too strong. This person has these, these feelings towards you as somebody who is 
a little bit standoffish. So I don't know if you're being standoffish around this person or something, but they see you in this kind of unique light. You guys could be also recovering from something in the past and this person doesn't want to mess that up for you. They don't want to come in when they feel like you're not ready. I will say this person has sexual feelings for you. They think about you a lot. And in my personal opinion, why would you think about somebody if you don't kind of like them, right? So I do think this person has a, a crush. It's not... I don't know if it's enough to make this person act though because they feel like you're not ready or they feel like you are too difficult. I have to just say it like that. And you know what? I always find this happens, especially if you have standards. People may tell you that they feel like you're too difficult when you're just like having a standard, you know, that's not a bad thing. So this person may feel like your standards are too high or something, which is ridiculous. What do we need to know please around this person? What do we need to know please around this person? What's going on with this crush? We have confusion. They're not being honest with you. They love bomb you and then ghost and breadcrumb you. In and out energy. You need to spend time alone to see things clearly. I think for both of you, you, you're both fairly confused by the other person. There's a lot of like energy with just feeling bits confused. Like what can you trust here? What's going on? Who is this? Who like there's there's a need to sort of navigate this connection in a different lens. What else do we need to know, please? We have release. Let go of a situation or a person who has become toxic for you. Walking away to find your peace, learning when it's time to give up and surrender in a connection. Yeah, for some of you, you could have felt like you had to surrender um, somebody or this person. You could still be in the process here of letting go of something. I feel like this person, they need to see some signs from you that you're actually interested too. Because I don't know, there's a little bit of like, you guys might have very different love languages or something. Because I could feel that coming through. There's a bit of confusion or a bit of like, we don't really see eye to eye. What else do we need to know? This person may also just be a master of confusion anyways. Yeah, we have hidden feelings. I, I feel, felt like something like this was going to come out. Keeping feelings under the surface and not sharing them, they're choosing to hide their true feelings from you at this time, not feeling comfortable with confessing. The thing is, I feel like this person does have feelings for you, but they're feeling very closed off when it comes to sharing those feelings with you. Um, I don't know why this is the case, but this is the case. This person may not feel very comfortable with, it, with sharing with you how strongly they actually feel. They're definitely protective of sharing. We have hindrances. You or your person need to tie up loose ends before this connection can come together. Prior obligations may be affecting the success of this relationship. This may be other people, places, or things. Yeah, I feel that with the moon card especially. There's a lot that is needing to be cleared, especially if you do want to move forward with this person. And you know what? I do feel a lot of this is on your side. I have to be honest, um, which is fine. We all have baggage. Like, that's the thing. I'm not trying to, like, call you guys out. But we cannot enter into a fresh connection if we have a lot of bullshit that's coming with us from the past. I feel like this person wants to be in their integrity with you, but they feel like there's too many blockages. We have illusions. You may not be seeing things clearly in this situation. Someone may be pur purposely misleading you or, or you are not seeing things clearly. Take a step back and remove the rose-colored glasses and see the real from the fake. And it's funny because underneath that, there is the misunderstandings card. I do feel like there's a lot of confusion in this connection. There's a lot of illusions. There's a lot of feeling a little bit like stuck. You know, I feel like it's really important to admit that and also to feel like or to see things from a, a more different perspective. Um, how can you be more authentic with yourself? How can you be more authentic with your heart so that you are able to attract this person into your life? Tell me about Pile 2's crush. What's going on here with this person? <laughs> we have delusion. Intention without surrender can be a fast pass to delusion. Okay, so here's the thing. This person has hidden feelings for you. 
Um, somebody, this could be you, this could be this person is living way too much in their head and they're not paying enough attention to the actual reality of the situation. Both of you may need a little bit of a kick in the butt when it comes to looking at the honesty of what, what's truly going on here. Um, so there does need to be a little bit of a pause in this connection and more of a internal look at what what's going on here within your your heart what is the truth here of what you're experiencing what else we have fox shrewdness and resourcefulness especially in business yeah there's like too much masking here and again this could be from your part this could be from this person's part it doesn't matter we need to make sure that we're clearing that out so that we actually have a chance to have like a very stable connection But yes, that is what I have piled to. Very interesting. Totally different energy from pile one. I do think this can work, but there's going to need to be a really big, like, revelation type of energy, you know? So both of you feel like you're you're just aware of the truth of the situation. Oh yeah, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I keep forgetting to say that. Hi, pal three, how are you? If you chose the strawberry quartz, then this is your reading, welcome. Just gonna go ahead here and dive right into your energy. Spirit, can you please help me to connect to the energy here of pile number three who chose the strawberry quartz? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for pile three so that they can have the best possible reading. Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you for everything that you continue to do. Please keep pile three safe protected and guided. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, this person does have feelings for you. I can feel nervousness in my chest. Um, I also had to like kind of self hug when I was tapping in here. So there could be some sort of heart chakra awakening. This could be you or this person. It's getting a lot of energy around the water. This person may be a sailor or work in the water. Um, or you guys may live near the ocean. Um, this person has, or you, somebody here is seeking external approval from other people or something, because I was getting other people involved um, and this like seeking energy. So you may want somebody else to give you approval here. I am seeing a cave, so I don't know if this person is like metaphorically going within. Um, whenever I think of a cave, I always think of the hermit. What do we need to know, please? Pile number three, tell me. What's going on with your crush? Do they like them back? What's the deal? Get the Eight of Cups, the Knight of Coins. Does their crush like them back? Page of Wands in reverse. Does their crush like them back? The Page of Swords. The Emperor. One of the most interesting things for me right now is that there is um, three different court cards here right away. So there could be a third party situation involved. We have the five of cups on the bottom of the deck. I'm going to take that as well. Can you see that? Yes, you can. Okay, let's tap in here. I don't know if this person can admit to their feelings. There's too much going on with this person's life and they are very good at closing off around their heart. I feel on one level, this person wants to rush towards you. They're definitely watching you. They're, they might have been in your life for a long time, by the way. <clears throat> you might have had this person like a major, like somehow in the periphery of your life for a while, but they're very resistant to moving forward. I don't think this person thinks that they can offer you anything at this time. There could be an age gap for signs. I'm getting, well, pretty much Aries energy is coming through in a big way. We have Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Fire, Leo, Aries, Sag, and Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Again, three court cards for me can sometimes indicate multiple different people. So that's always um, important for us to be aware of, right? Because when there are other people involved, it can be very like confusing and messy. But there could be other people here. I also feel like this person has some sort of like energy where they don't want to be very like 
telling, like this person likes to keep their emotions close to their chest. They don't like people to be aware. This is not, which is crazy because I was like self-soothing when I was tapping into this person's energy. So I do think they have emotions, but they might not like to share them. Pile number three, please tell me about their crush. What do we need to know about this person? We have answers. Finding all the answers to your questions, something hidden is revealed, asking the right question and being open to hearing the truth, finding the key. I'm hearing this person come forth and say, we don't have all the, I don't have all the answers. I don't have all the answers. So they could be feeling very confused. They may feel like they are not entirely sure what the right answer is here or like what they need to do. Um, but for some of you, this person may have somebody else or you may have somebody else. So there could be messiness here. Tell me about Pile Three's crush. We have salvage. Contemplating on whether the connection can be salvaged, needing to come to terms with whether things can work out or if you should terminate things, take time off. For some of you, this person may feel like maybe you guys have had some sort of an argument or disappointing encounter. This person is not sure if they can fix it. For others of you though, I feel like this person may be feeling as if other people here are getting in the way. They There's also like someone lingering here. I don't know if this is on your side or at this person's side, but I'm getting a lingering, somebody in the periphery lingering, which is also creating this weird energy because this person is like holding on to this connection when they need to be letting go. Tell me more, please. Yeah, we have scent, scent marking. Claiming another person as your property. Someone is actively working to dissuade your person from pursuing you. The if I can't have you, no one can syndrome. Yes, this is pretty much that energy of what I was picking up on. Somebody lingering, right? Somebody could feel like this person like is supposed to be with them and that's it. Like they don't want to let anybody else come into the energy field, um, which is making this person feel very, very upset. What else? Pile number Three. Tell me about their crush. When this happens, it's very con convoluted, right? Because then we have too many different like hands in the pot. We have bond. You're developing or have already developed an unbreakable bond with someone. This is your ride or die, your number one person. Even distance can't keep you apart. Time will pass, but the love will always remain. For some of you, you could have dated this person before, broken up, and now like there's this crush energy, but this person may have gone gotten with somebody else. Um, for some of you, this person may live at a distance or they could travel a lot for work, like that army, navy energy I was getting here. But this person does have feelings for you. They do have a crush on you. They they like you back, but there's there's something here. Specifically, I feel another person that could be getting in the way. Pile three, please tell me. We have wide open. The situation calls for you to be wide open and ready to be adventurous. You're being advised to have fun and let your hair down. Don't let anything stop you from doing what you want to do as long as it harms no one. Yeah, this person may also try to pretend like they just want to be casual with you. By the way, that's total bullshit. This person does have very strong feelings for you, but they feel this other person's energy um, or they're confused, right? And I feel like this person has done a lot of work on your heart chakra they've cracked it open and now they're a little bit confused. Like, what do we need to know here? Pile three. We have deepening. Once you're on earth for enough lifetimes, your old soul will begin to long for non-grasping detachment and surrender. They bring the peace of God. This person may have a cat, you could have a cat. This person's feelings are already here for you. And I do feel they're quite deep. The thing is, this person has, or you, someone here, there's an additional attachment to a past person. And this other person is really confusing this entire thing. Um, I feel like there's a lot that needs to be cleared out in order for the two of you to have a solid chance at things. But to answer the question, this person does like you. I feel that pretty strongly. What else here? 
We have angel, spiritual guidance, protection from harm. I feel like this is a strong connection on a spiritual level. I also feel like your spirit team, this person's spirit team, there's a ton of communication from both sides here, um, trying to get this connection back on the board. One thing I will say though, is it's like, when we have so many additional things or people, it's complicated, right? And I think that that's important to note. There is that compliment, there's that con like conflict because there's somebody else here. But this person does like you. I don't know if they feel like they can come towards you just yet. So that is something that we need to be aware of. So yes, that is what I have, you guys. Um, if you like this, this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I did say I was going to be honest, so this is me being honest. I hope you're doing well. Have a great day. Bye-bye.